Hi, welcome to Oko Hamster. So this is my Honda CRV, and it's currently January in New Jersey. It's pretty chilly outside, and we're having a lot more of the car starting problems. In one of my previous videos, I showed a letter from Honda Motors telling me to bring this car in to get the computer updated. So we did that last year, and that was because they're saying that it's not a problem with the car battery. They're saying that it was a problem with the car computer. The computer will not allow me to start the vehicle. So after updating it, um, in the warmer climates, we don't really have the starting problem, but whenever the weather gets cold, we still do. A lot more frequent than warmer weather. And I got around 35, 36,000 miles on this vehicle. Not many miles. We, do, we hardly ever drive the car. And yet, well, I'm just gonna change the battery anyway. Honda says it's with a computer. We already got that updated through the Honda dealership and we're still having starting problems. The battery I'll be replacing it with is the one I picked up from Costco and this one is Interstate Batteries and it's 500 cranky amps. This cost me $90 before the core exchange so if I bring the core back, the old one, I get $16 back and over here I just marked off the the month and year I purchased it. Some of the tools I'll be using, protective eyewear, gloves, adjustable wrench, pliers and a 10 millimeter socket. So for the Hana CRV, this part is holding the battery down in place and I just need to remove everything here. This piece is plastic. I can just pull this up. It's a uh, here. This is the bolt I need to unscrew. If you can't pull, directly pull it out, hold it in place. Hold the plastic piece in place with your with your one hand. In your other hand, just take that 10 millimeter socket and adjust the wrench and just unscrew it. And while you're unscrewing it, still with the left hand, press. Put, um, pull it upward to pull it out. This is the part where the adjustable wrench comes in handy because my 10 millimeter socket just isn't deep enough. I didn't unscrew it completely because I just need to remove it to the point where I can just have this hook, that hook down there, just have it come out. This way I can just pull it up. And as for this cable over here, this little tab on this side, just press that tab in and then I can pull it out, pull out this connector. And just take this out first. Just put it aside. Now it's time to loosen the battery. Even with the battery, it needs to loosen to the point where I can just pull the terminal connector up. I'm going to remove the casing that surrounds the car battery. And now the car battery itself. The car battery sits on a tray and you can easily just remove the tray. It's really nothing to it. And you can just dump out whichever garbage is in here. Here's what it looks like with everything removed. It's a good time to check for any debris, any leaves, just take them out. When you place the tray back into this cavity, just keep in mind that on the bottom of the tray there are these two dimples and they align perfectly with these holes on the bottom over here. You'll know that align properly because you'll hear that it just drops in place. There. Now it's not shifting or moving anymore. Now I can place the battery back in. Place the battery rack back inside. The red is on towards this terminal. The black terminal is on this side toward with the black terminal connector. And the open side for the battery cover faces towards the left wheel. So this the closed side faces towards the engine block. And just slide it in place. With the battery in place, don't put on that metal brace holding the battery down yet. First, screw the, the terminal connectors onto this battery. And so let me just remove the uh, Cap covers, so black, those are black. This side here, over here, red, went with the red. This side over here. And this part, I do want to make it tight because I don't want the connector to uh, disconnect on the battery. That's very bad. On this side, also tying it up. 
Now that the terminal connectors are secured in place, it's time to put on this piece over here to hold a battery security with the car. And with this part, the thicker side is towards the center of the engine. And with the other side, let me just uh, show you this hook over here. So I need to have this hook hook into the vehicle. So I'm just put this here. I'm gonna do this side first. And once the hook's in place, now this side. All right, now I wanna tighten this back up, but I don't wanna over tighten it to the point where this metal bar will bend. I'm just basically gonna tighten it so that the battery will remain secure. I'm tightening it every other one, a little bit on left side here, a little bit on right side. It's because I, don't, I want it to remain balanced. I don't want it to be a locking down only on one end of the battery. Now security in place. Next, next for these wires that has the plastic tip over here. I'm just gonna press this on top, it goes straight down. Same thing on this side here, just press it down. It slides right in and then close this cap. Last thing is this connector over here that I took off before. Just need to plug it back into this part. That's it, you hear a click, it's connected. Now I'll start the car. The process of changing the car battery can take anywhere from 10 minutes and up. The reason I mentioned it can take longer is because if my ter terminals are corroded, I would need to replace it or just like, clean it properly. And doing this myself cost me less than $90. If I were to bring it to the dealership, it cost me at least 140. But I'd love to hear what other other Honda and CRV owners out there have to say about starting your, their vehicle in cold weather. Because I've already brought this to the Honda dealership to get a computer updated per Honda Motors instructions, and I'm still having problems. It's been a year and a half of living with this. Finally, I'm like, you know what? I've just changed the battery. See how this works this winter. But if you, any of you out there resolve the issue with some other method, please let me know. Well, thanks for watching this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to contact me. Thanks for watching Oprah Hamster. Bye.